Hello and welcome to the Road to Goaty for Remnant from the Ashes, a game that I absolutely adore that because of some unfortunate issues uh, will not make it into my top 10. But I think this is a really cool game and with just a little bit more polish, maybe like a sequel or with some DLC, maybe an expansion later on, I think this game could absolutely shine uh, past the problems that it has at launch. Uh, I do have to say, it's nice to actually be able to play it again, now the uh, adventure uh, update is out, because there were some really bad bugs early on that caused card crashes for me anytime I tried to walk away from the crystal after an update, and thankfully, subsequent updates have fixed that, and I'm able to actually play again, which is really cool, but that absolutely hurt my enjoyment of the game, not being able to go back and play it more. Remnant from the Ashes is a really interesting idea. It's a procedurally generated co-op based shooter where when you first load into a zone or a world, uh, the map is laid out for you from a bunch of different tile sets that they have. And I did run into some tile sets that looked very familiar and it does lead to things like this where there's just nothing over here. Uh, but it also leads to every time you play through the story, which you can reroll after you beat the story, your adventure is going to be different. You're going to fight different bosses or you're going to run into different situations or events that you didn't run into the first time, which is really interesting. I think the procedural generation is a thing that kind of fell off because people got really bored of it and it's nice to see it being used in new ways. I do think that the enemies get a little samey after a while. Every world has like four or five variants and you just kind of fight those same variants over and over and over again. Uh, I think a little bit more enemy variation would have been nice, but at the same time, I still really enjoyed fighting the enemies. Uh, I think that your weapon selection is actually really good, and you have these mods you can put on weapons that increase your different variations on builds quite a bit. Uh, the friends that I would roll around with, we would have very different builds. That said... I do think that there are some mods that are better than others. The tree mod that I have on this beam rifle is so good that there was no reason for me to ever switch off of it uh, because it just basically eats aggro for you. And that's kind of unfortunate. I would have liked some more mods to be on that tier or maybe some other mods that did the same thing so that I had some more options. I wasn't tied into it because among my friend group, I was the only one that had the tree. And the tree is, again, so good that there was no reason to ever change it out, and it really saved our lives in quite a few boss fights. I think the bosses are super cool for the most part, but the boss fights are not. Uh, mainly because the way that ammo works in this game, as you can see, enemies are dropping scrap. Uh, they will also drop ammo. Okay, let's get our tree, and we'll throw that out so we can deal with all these guys. Uh, and when you kill an enemy, they have a chance to drop ammo, so, for boss fights, so that you can't get stuck where you just can't attack bosses, you have to have adds. And the adds, there's a lot of them. The adds spawn quite often and are very annoying. It's not like a lot of boss fights have adds that come in mid-boss fight. It's very common. But in Remnant, it's not like one or two boss fights that have adds or... Every fight has a handful of adds that come out at specific stages when you've done enough damage to the boss. In Remnant, the adds just spawn indefinitely and will spawn until the boss is dead. So if you're not killing them, you can get overwhelmed extremely easy. And it's just not... Oh, and there's also elite enemies. It's just not really enjoyable to constantly be dealing with these adds while you're trying to deal with what should be a fun boss fight. That's another mod at work. Luminite Crystal, I needed those, thank you. Thank you, Tree. Let me show off these mods real quick. So we have all these different mods. Uh, I have the Explosive Shot mod on my submachine gun right now. And there's even more that you can get that I don't have. You get them from fighting bosses. You can also get weapons from fighting bosses. Um, and armor and things like that. I think these are all really cool, but none of them are as good as the Russell Weed that just draws aggro for 10 seconds. It's really good. Uh, I really love the beam rifle too, but as you can see, there's a lot of different options when it comes to weapons. Most of them are really cool. Some of them are kind of basic, like a hunting rifle or like a, a coach gun, shotgun, 
But, like, the Eye of the Storm that has its own unique mod, the Devastator that has its own unique mod, the Repulsor is really cool. There's a ton of really interesting weapons in this game, and I don't even have all of them yet, because I still haven't fought all the bosses yet, which is really cool. Uh, you also have these traits. By putting in these points into traits, you can get different abilities. You can get these traits by doing almost anything, honestly. These traits are all over the game, and you collect them just as you go from doing all kinds of crazy things. I got one trait for uh, resing somebody. I got a trait revivalist. Yeah, I got it for resing somebody. Uh, I've gotten traits for crits. I've gotten traits for reloading a bunch. Like, it is crazy uh, just how many different traits there are. And they're all really good for the most part. Although, to be honest, I put a lot of points into Elder Knowledge right away to get those extra levels out of it, because why wouldn't I? What do I want to put this one into? Uh, stamina wouldn't be bad. Melee damage is not really for this build, so probably not ever going to work. Stamina regen's not bad. Symbol speed increase, crit damage... Trigger happy for fire rate. I might just boost trigger happy the rest of the way up. That fire rate up. Or mine's eye. Ah, we'll just boost it up. I think this game's really cool. And I think, again, with just a little bit more polish, I think it could have very easily broken into my top 10. But it's buggy. Not even just the crash bug that I mentioned earlier. There are times where you just can't pick things up. And a lot of that stuff has been addressed by the devs. They've, they've put a lot of work into it. It has definitely gotten a lot better than it was when it first came out. Uh, but it still can be very buggy. And one of the worst bugs is character voice lines just not playing. Uh, I've had times where I go to talk to NPCs and you see the dialogue and it was voiced the last time you were here. That character was talking to you and they're just not talking to you now. Uh, stuff like that's really unfortunate. I also think that, like, the final boss is a bunch of garbage. And I know that there are builds that allow you to easily destroy the final boss, and maybe I'm just bad, but that final boss fight, the final boss can basically one-shot you, and then you have to redo the first phase again. It almost has that Sekiro problem of, like, I've proven I can beat the first phase. Let me start on the second phase. And it also just has a ton of health. The final boss is just a huge pain, and uh, thankfully I had some friends to help me out, even though the boss gets way harder with friends, uh, because it, it has a lot more damage, that it or health than it has. Uh, it was still nice to be able to, to team up and take that thing down. I do think, because I've talked about a lot of the negatives, let me talk about some of the positives. I think this game has some of the best world building. I love the story in this game, and although I do think the story drops the ball right at the end, which is so unfortunate, I think that the actual build-up to that end is really solid. It's a mystery that I wanted to solve as I played through it. And had it landed that, <coughs> had it been able to, to finish that cycle that it set up, I think it absolutely would be one of my favorite stories of the year. It's just really unfortunate that you meet an NPC that should have all the answers you're looking for, uh, and he just doesn't talk to you at all. He gives you the basic information, and then he just leaves. It's like, oh, okay. But I had so many questions. You're the guy that I've been looking for all this time. I just want to know the answer to all these questions. And you're just not going to talk to me at all. Okay. Thanks, buddy. There we go. Trait point. Also, because of my build, I'm slowly regenerating HP. This is a good build. Got this armor early on. Never had a reason to switch from it. Even though there are a lot of cool armor sets in this, too. Let me show those off for a second here. Bunch of different armors. With a bunch of different effects, a bunch of different rings, a bunch of different amulets. Again, there's so many different ways to build your character. I just found a build that I really liked that worked on mod strength and things like that. To be able to get my tree out faster. And that gives me a lot of HP regen. I think this game is, especially if you have a group of friends that you all get it together with, this game is basically endless content. Because yeah, you're going to get some of the same bosses over and over. But you're also sometimes going to not. You're going to run into situations where you're fighting brand new bosses that you've never fought before. A brand new, ah, I didn't mean to use that. That was a mistake. Uh, that was a waste, too. Or like brand new events or a different order of the layout for the level that makes you have maybe a harder time or a more difficult time uh, against it, which I think is really cool. I think, again, procedural regeneration can be done really well, and I think Remnant does it exceedingly well. I just think because of the issues, Remnant kind of is dragged down by those those underlying problems that don't ever really go away. 
losing my voice, so I'm doing my best to try and try and keep it here. <clears throat> but it is going away. That said, loading times, man. And maybe it's just because I have OBS open. Maybe it's just my PC. I tax this thing really hard. Uh, but these are like PS4 level loading times, and I don't have this problem with Monster Hunter. All right, I think we might have a boss up here. Let's use our checkpoint. Get our uh, dragon heart back. I do think that tying the last set of upgrades to a resource that there's only one of in every world uh, when you load in there and you still have to find it, that's kind of annoying. I wish that wasn't a thing. Because it sure would be nice to finish getting the rest of the dragon heart, sort of finish upgrading my armor. This is a, a room that I've never seen before. That's really cool, actually. I mean, I've seen these caves, but not like this. I do think that like a Monster Hunter or a um, MMO, almost, every time you go to run through the world or you go to help a friend, you are always progressing. And that alone is enough for me to say this is worth playing. Because, again, you all know how much I love just progressing in games no matter what I'm doing. I think progression is a very important feeling, and I think Remnant captures that feeling of progression very well. Uh, you would say, well, you're spending ammo, or you're spending your your resources. Like, well, yeah, but I'm also getting back scrap, and I'm getting back resources really quickly. But you don't. Do -do -do. This beam, by the way, really good on Earth. I do kind of wish I'd got to go to some of the other worlds that you hear about from the different... Uh, hello. From the, the different terminals. But again, hopefully that's DLC. I think the design of this world is really cool. Uh, Vyasha. I'm not a huge fan of Corvus. I think Corvus gets on my nerves really quickly. And that could just be because of the elites on Corvus. I think the elite enemies on Corvus are actually a huge pain. But they're like, they're trying something different there. I may not like it, but at least they're trying, you know? It's an enemy type that when you shoot them, you have to knock them down. And then shoot them in the like the spot where their head would be, down inside their neck to kill them. And that's like that's a really cool idea. I think they're really annoying to fight, and so are the summoners. But that's a super cool idea. And the only thing that makes them like really annoying is that they can show up in bosses too. Otherwise, it's just oh, and there's not a cap on them. There's spots in Corvus where you have like four summoners who are constantly summoning enemies, and it's like okay, they probably shouldn't put a cap of like two on these things. See ya. Wanna be ya? We should be getting close to a boss soon. I wanted to end it on a boss fight. Doop doop. Doop doop. Our mods are fully charged, so if we run into a bad problem, we have those. Oh, speaking of bad problems. Hello. You see the tree? Oh, but did you see the tree, though? Ha ha ha, dummy. Gotcha. And it feels good to play. The gunplay is really tight. It's not like Borderlands 3 levels of gunplay, but it's still really solid. It's better than it has any right to me, honestly. For a non-$60 game. Like, it is... It plays really well. This game is such a weird mishmash and hodgepodge. And yet I can't seem to stop my... Like, once I start playing it, I don't ever want to put it down, you know? If not for those issues, again, it, it absolutely would have been on my top ten. And it's still, it's getting, it's been nominated for a lot of stuff in our, in our goatee. The, I, at least I'm going to nominate it for a lot of stuff. Can't speak for, for everybody else. But it's a really, really good game that I absolutely think you should check out. Just be aware it does have some issues. And the biggest one is the constant adding spawns and spawn ads. Got those words backwards. Uh, in boss fights. I think that is almost inexcusable. Uh, I didn't mean to use that either. I pressed the control map button. I was not paying attention. Okay. I think we're getting close to the end of this area. The chest. Scrap more hardened iron. I can use all of that. Sell that hardened iron for scrap to be able to buy more pots. Be able to go further and deeper into these dungeons. Oh, 
Mostly what I spend my scrap on now is ammo. <clears throat> because I have two weapons that eat ammo, and I have the fire rate up so high on them. But, you see how fast things die. It, it, it's worth it. I can just buy ammo boxes and I'm good. There's a blood board. Nice. That gets back for the one that I wasted a minute ago. Ooh, a purple! What are you, boyo? Oh, a storm amulet. I already had that, so it's scrap. But, still, could have been something really cool. We have two trait points. Let's go ahead and... We've almost got Trigger Happy marked out. Maxed out. Wow. This lack of voice thing, this being sick thing, it's messing with my head. No, I think this game's really good. Um, still definitely worth picking up, despite the issues. If not for Control, I would say this was the most SCP game of the year. But Control exists, and it's far more SCP. <laughs> Those guys would have hit me and done a lot of damage before. Oh, we can use one of these. It's fine. Do, do, do. Right? Now, what's up here? That gets really old really quick. Whoa. It's over. Because that's all my character seems to know how to say. Also, after you beat the game, there's no new dialogue back at the hub. You beat the game and you go talk to the people at the hub and there's no new dialogue. And I was like, oh. All right. <sighs> Maybe they added some in with the adventure mode, but it definitely wasn't there before. All right, this should be a boss fight. Let's see what we got. Hopefully it's a boss I've never fought before. I really hope it is. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got after we get out of this loading screen. Okay. All right. We got a checkpoint. We didn't really need it, but we're going to sit at it anyway because it refills our ammo. Okay. What we got? Noble's Rest. This is Teleporting Guy. I think this might be Teleporting Guy. In which case, I have fought him before. It's Teleporting Guy. Yeah, I've fought him before. That's the unfortunate part, too. There's no way to tick the adventure mode or even, like, re-rolling regular world and be like, give me bosses I haven't fought before. So you do wind up refighting old bosses, which is, again, it's unfortunate, but it's a fun, it's a fun enough fight. I wanted to charge up some mod strength on you, but... Oh, buddy. Okay. All right. Hold on. I'm going to heal. Find me. I'm going to heal. There's the ads. Like I said. There's the tree. Please go for the tree so I can kill you. Okay. Hey, could you... You didn't go for the tree at all. Okay. There's something behind me, too. Oh, buddy. Could we not and say that we did, though? Is that an option? Are you gonna just keep... See, last time you, like, teleported in front of me and tried to attack me by teleporting, are you just gonna keep... going back and forth here? Because, I mean, if so... I can just do this... Oh, you're moving slightly every time. Oh, where'd you go? Oh, we're back. Okay. We're Are you bugged out? I think you might be bugged out. I think you're bugged out. Pretty positive you're bugged out. Oh, didn't, okay. That was weird. <clears throat> yeah, I'm like 90%. You're bugged out right now, buddy. That's really unfortunate. And also really annoying because it means this fight's going to take forever. Did you just, okay. Like again, last time he just, he showed up right here. 
And then he kept teleporting at me to try and kill me. And I did a bunch of damage to him because of it. And killed him with my grenades. Maybe if I throw the tree out, it'll free him from his bug cycle. Hey! He's moving again. Are you also bugged? Oh yeah, we, we're bugged. We're bugged. We're bugged. Can we get closer then and just hit him? Let me ammo box while we're bugged. Yeah, like, can I go right up here and then when he teleports back up here, just submachine gun him? Should I not have moved? Was it better when I didn't move? Oh man, this is this is gonna take a while. Okay, well, crud. That's unfortunate. Uh, but this is what I'm talking about. Of uh, the game's kind of buggy. Oh, now we're back into a rhythm again. At least I don't have to worry about ads right now because it bugged out. Oh, hold on, I gotta reload. You have to wait a second. Yeah, so this is a thing. I should have reloaded while he was teleported away. Like now, and when he comes back, I can just pop him again. Reload. We're going to have to ammo box again soon. Because the submachine gun doesn't do much from this range. And if I get any closer, he's going to start teleporting randomly again. Because his AI's bugged out. Well, while we wait, uh, shout out to the guys that beat this game with me. It was great to have you helping me out, and I really appreciate it. Tony, and Bird, and Kane. It was a lot of fun beating this game with you guys. Even though it's only through player co-op, so we had to like switch people in at times, but it's fine. I also played with Andrew and Pat for a little while, and that was cool. I don't think either of them beat the game, though. Uh, Pat got some really nasty bugs that stopped him from wanting to play more. Which, again, that's unfortunate, because I think it's a really cool game, but... Uh, these bugs still happening, apparently. The other cool thing I didn't mention while this fight's almost over is that when you put a mod on a weapon, it changes the look of it. But again, because I've had this mod on there since day one, basically, uh, I never got any different look to it. Was it rough, though? Was it rough, though, buddy? Okay, well, we're going to hit this exit... And then we're going to call this video. Um, I do still think this game has a lot to love about it, but be aware. Because uh, you should get it, but be aware when you get it. Kind of buggy. But the crashing bug has stopped for me, and so that's great. It's good to just actually be able to play the game again. Scrap, scrap, scrap. All right, though, with all that said, I have been Trey. This has been the Full Spectrum. Remember to always enjoy the Full Spectrum. Remnant from the Ashes has to offer.